Hi there, this is Amnino Lapsa. Uh, welcome back to Tech Enthusiast uh, YouTube channel. Actually, recently I have changed my uh, YouTube channel name from uh, Dynamic Troubleshooters to Tech Enthusiast. So, after a long time, I'm back to make uh, another video, and I'm going to make lots of videos uh, continuously. Okay. In my today's video, I'm going to show you how uh, can you configure as an SD WAN uh, for SSD traffic like uh, Microsoft Office 365. Okay, actually, I'm go I'm going to make this video just because of uh, lots of requests, lots of uh, comment were uh, in my <coughs> one of my SD WAN videos. Uh, where lots of users are commented how they configure SD1 for any SSH traffic. Uh, there are lots of comments about that actually on one of my SD1 videos. That's why I'm going to uh, make another video uh, um, on it. Okay, <coughs> let's do it. Uh, we're going to uh, configure. SD1 configuration for Office 365 uh, traffic. Okay, to do that, at first we have to configure performance SLA. Here you can you can see I'm showing an a pre-configured SD performance SLA. Okay, here I'm going to create another uh, performance SLA for uh, Microsoft. Of this 365 uh, traffic, okay. I name it and I'm going to select a specific uh, one interfaces, okay. Here, one interface one and two already added, and I'm going to configure an SLA target, okay. And there, uh, you can see I set it up latency up to. Uh, 50. Okay, here you can see Outlook web traffic. Now it is not yet uh, showing up. So after refreshing one time, it is going to be up. Uh, when, when it is up, actually, when uh, my uh, from my firewall, it is being able to uh, Outlook website, then it is going to be up and shows the effort target as far as my uh, configuration if i set it latency 15 uh, milliseconds then if it is exceeded then it will uh, show in red mark okay then i'm going to apply on it uh, which is actually previously a configured uh, as one policy here i just uh, going to modify this policy okay so from here, you can see all of uh, Microsoft services were, were added. I'm going to re-edit some other uh, services because uh, Fortinet is continuously updating their services, uh, application, and other services as well. That's why we have to modify the setting and periodically. Okay, I'm going to add in. Uh, one by one, which is uh, necessary for Office 365 traffic actually. Okay, you can see. Yes, uh, here we go. It is done. Then I'm going to add application services. I mean, uh, all of uh, lots of application services are al already added. Then I'm going to modify. I mean, uh, re-adding some new services which is newly included after uh, upgrading for you is uh, six point four. Okay, because Fortinet uh, periodically update their application and web services as well. So we have to modify modify this. Uh, services and re-adding these services for 
uh, reliable bandwidth and services for uh, this type of application web service. You can add all specific uh, application web services which is related to your uh, policy, okay? Which is related to your targeted policy. Otherwise, uh, you may not notice the effective changes after uh, making this policy, okay? Here I'm adding all of the Microsoft services which is re related to uh, Microsoft Office related service, Office 365 related service, okay? <clears throat> yes, done. Now I'm going to select SLA target, okay? Higher, uh, you can see I select best quality, okay, we have best quality uh, as, uh, for uh, SD-WAN rules. And here I'm going to select latency, okay. Latency uh, for Outlook Web. Uh, this is the criteria actually, how the SD-WAN uh, is going to be work. Uh, so the SD-WAN is going to be work in according to the latency latency uh, depends on the both of the outgoing uh, network outgoing interface so so here i'm going to show you my configured as you and rules is it working or not how it is working okay here you can see my sla my as you and rules already I started to work here you can see business oriented traffic okay here lots of others uh, as you and rules all uh, are also configured in my firewall that that's why you can see uh, other services alert, uh, like uh, particular services and others etc so you can monitor you can monitor from login reports and events from events you can continuously monitor okay everything so that's it um i hope you enjoyed this video and i'm going to continue uh, to make this type of video in my uh, in in future so keep in touch with me uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the uh, like button and notification button as well okay thank you once again uh, and goodbye